three, two, one. With the triumphant completion of NASA's first uncrewed Artemis mission to the moon, efforts are ramping up to create lasting solutions for human habitation on the lunar surface. The successful flight tests of the SLS rocket and the Orion spacecraft mark significant milestones, but they are only the initial steps in a much more intricate plan to establish humanity's first permanent lunar outpost. NASA's ambitious Artemis program is continually evolving as new partnerships from the private sector are brought in to develop innovative space exploration technologies. SpaceX, with its Starship lander, plays a key role in these plans. On top of that, we're starting to see proposals for lunar infrastructure like pipelines, 3D printed habitats, and new spacesuits designed for extravehicular activities. So let's dive into NASA's master plan to build the first ever moon base. The upcoming human return to the moon is slated for NASA's Artemis III mission, which is aiming for a launch as early as 2026. NASA has also revealed plans for a second manned landing on the moon, with Artemis IV potentially happening as early as 2027. Both of these missions will rely on SpaceX's Starship, which serves as the human landing system. This spacecraft will be home for two astronauts during a five-day stay on the lunar surface. For comparison, the Apollo 17 crew in 1972 set the record for the longest stay on the moon at 75 hours. Thanks to Starship's large 9-meter diameter and immense height, it will provide relatively spacious living conditions during these early moon explorations. However, living inside Starship alone isn't a sustainable option for long-term lunar presence. NASA needs a robust plan to build the infrastructure required for future Artemis missions, which will eventually involve four astronauts living on the moon for up to a month at a time. Kathy Luders, NASA's Associate Administrator, has emphasized that astronauts will experience increasingly comfortable living conditions with each mission. These improvements will allow them to explore and study more of the moon than ever before. According to Luders, NASA's long-term strategy aims to support a human and robotic presence on the moon, leading to their ultimate goal, preparing for human exploration of Mars. In early 2023, NASA revealed a plan to install a groundbreaking piece of infrastructure on the moon, an oxygen pipeline. This pipeline would transport high purity oxygen from a production site to storage facilities near the future moon base. Using a technique called molten regolith electrolysis, NASA can extract oxygen from lunar soil, which contains a large amount of trapped oxygen. The extracted oxygen will support astronaut habitats, pressurized rovers, and will even be used as oxidizer propellant for launch vehicles departing from the moon. Moving oxygen around the moon's surface using rovers would consume more energy than the extraction process itself, making the pipeline a more energy efficient solution. NASA plans to construct a five kilometer long pipeline using aluminum that will be processed and manufactured robotically on the moon. This pipeline will provide a flow of two kilograms of oxygen per hour, supporting a lunar base with up to 10,000 kilograms annually. This technology is expected to be tested in large-scale demonstrations on the Moon as early as 2024, supporting Artemis missions by 2026. In November 2022, NASA awarded a $57 million contract to a company called ICON, which specializes in advanced construction and 3D printing technologies. Their mission? Develop a lunar surface construction system. 
Icon has already made significant strides in terrestrial 3D printing, having built the first fully 3D printed house in the US Icon's latest endeavor, Project Olympus, focuses on creating a multi-purpose construction system that will use lunar and Martian materials to build outposts. The idea is to use lunar regolith and melt it into a cement-like material, which will be shaped into habitats and infrastructure via fully automated 3D printers. To refine this process, NASA provided ICON with samples of real moon dust collected during the Apollo missions. The regolith will be mixed with a resin-like substance and hardened by exposure to UV radiation from the sun. If all goes according to plan, we could see the first demonstration of 3D printed structures on the moon by 2026, marking a giant leap in human space exploration. In addition to habitats, ICON's Project Olympus is also focused on building infrastructure like roads and landing pads. You might wonder, why is this so important? Well, lunar landings and rover movements will kick up massive amounts of dust, so much that it could disrupt equipment and potentially pose a hazard. To mitigate this, NASA plans to create stable, solid surfaces for landing spacecraft and driving vehicles. Driving along these new roads will be NASA's next-generation lunar rovers. The lunar terrain vehicle is expected to arrive after Artemis III, possibly as early as Artemis IV. This vehicle will resemble side-by-side -side ATVs commonly seen on Earth, but will be designed to handle the rugged lunar terrain. The LTV can be operated by astronauts behind the wheel or controlled remotely, and NASA is even exploring the possibility of making it fully autonomous. This means that lunar exploration can continue even when astronauts are not physically present on the moon. One of its primary functions will be searching for water ice and other lunar resources to help NASA determine the best location for a permanent base. The next step beyond the LTV will be NASA's habitable mobility platform, which will function as a pressurized rover. This rover will enable astronauts to embark on multi-day expeditions across the moon without wearing bulky spacesuits. The HMP is scheduled to arrive on the moon between the Artemis V and Artemis VIII missions. One of the biggest hurdles in returning humans to the moon has been developing new spacesuits. The lunar environment is harsh, with abrasive, sharp dust particles that can damage equipment and irritate astronauts. The spacesuits used during the Apollo missions struggled with this issue, and modern-day suits need to be much more durable. NASA initially ran into significant delays and cost overruns in designing these new suits. So, they passed the baton to Axiom Space, a private aerospace company. NASA has invested $2 billion, $280 million into the development of Axiom's new spacesuit design, which is expected to be unveiled in 2023 and ready for use by Artemis III. These suits will be radically different from those used in spacewalks on the ISS, as they will need to withstand lunar gravity and the challenging lunar environment. As we watch these projects unfold over the next decade, it's clear that humanity's dream of becoming a multi-planetary species is closer than ever. NASA's bold vision for establishing a permanent moon base is a crucial step in that journey. What do you think? How will future lunar habitats evolve? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe for more updates on space exploration and human advancement beyond Earth. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.